I have made it to the Chattahoochee Nature Center. It is $20 plus tax for entry and it includes entry into the butterfly exhibit. They have a guided hike, which is at three. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not, we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the tent to see the butterflies. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. It's free for you to do so. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's go to the butterfly encounter. they could land on you and you get checked before you leave but they do give you this little brush thing and if you put it next to a butterfly they could walk on it I haven't been so successful you have to put it in front of their feet but yeah it's a really nice place to take photos and relax it is hot in here though hot hot let's see if I can pick one up what about this guy you look like a good candidate oh no 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 He's like, no, thank you. Yay, I finally got one on the, on the um, brush thing. Now I can't get it off the sponge. There we go. Just like that, he goes back on the flower. No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. You can take this one. There you go. That was the butterfly encounter, which was pretty cool. Um, I don't really like any type of insect, whether good or bad, touching me. Um, so I only had a few land on me, but when you go in, like I mentioned, you get the stick, which has, I guess, something on the sponge that butterflies are attracted to. So they come to the um, stick if you put it right in front of their feet. Um, it was really hard, if you didn't notice, for it. For me to get the butterfly off of the sponge um but it's not that big of a space in there so when i first went in it was kind of crowded but then people kind of cleared out which allowed for me some time to really just enjoy and take photos um and then once you're finished you get checked by someone to make sure you don't have any um, butterflies on you. Mind you, this butterfly encounter goes through August 11, 2024, but it is a popular exhibit, so it does come in every year. The Nature Center, I believe, is open year round, so after the 11th, they will still be here with all of their activities, and I don't know if there's other exhibits. If, if there is, I'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay, so I'm walking back down to like past the um, butterfly encounter because there is a beaver habitat and an aviary down here. I don't know if I want to wait to the walking tour at three. Um, 
So I'm going to go check these things out. But if you do want to go on a walking tour, they do have them. I don't know if it's every day at 3 or today at 3, but definitely call and ask or check when you get here. So now I'm over at the beaver habitat. And, um, oh, there's a beaver in there. Oh, my God, I'll show you in just a moment. But apparently beavers struggle for territory, particularly here in Georgia. And it says that they were pretty much almost wiped out by 1940, which is crazy. And so there has been efforts to bring beavers back, um, but they now compete with humans. And often if they build uh, dams on private properties, they are removed. So let me show you this beaver. Oh my God, I've never seen a beaver in real life. This is so cool. Where is he? There he is, oh my God. He, she, I don't know. But there. He is, oh my gosh. Right up and close, yes. So now we're down in the, uh, now I have you down in the raptor aviaries. Is that how you say it, aviaries? I'm like, why is it called raptor aviaries? It's making me think I'm in Jurassic Park. But anyways, this cage over here has vultures and apparently vultures are very social creatures and it even says that um like wild vultures will actually come and fly and get on top of the cage just to like interact and socialize with the vultures in it so there's one up there and there's one down there chilling out on the ground pretty cool about vultures it says that with the strong acid in their stomach, they can kill pretty much any disease and they're disease, fi disease fighters. So they can eat dead animals and they're carrying like cholera and all types of illnesses. So that's pretty cool. But look at these owls. Hopefully they're over here in the shadows. So if they can, you can see them. Yeah, there's, there's one up there. There's the other one. They're so creepy, like their eyes. Oh my gosh. So, just to let you know, the Chattahoochee Nature Center actually rehabilitates animals. Um, they receive hundreds upon hundreds of animals to rehabilitate. Oh, there's more owls in here. These are different owls. Um, they're barn owls. Oh, okay. But yeah, those aren't as creepy as the other ones. But anyway, okay. Back to the discussion. So, yeah, they receive hundreds upon hundreds of animals every day to, or not every day, but I don't know what the frequency, but... They receive a lot of animals to rehabilitate and they actually don't receive any money from the government. So they taking donations and obviously um, funds people spend um, to come in helps rehabilitate these animals and hopefully get them back into nature. What is down here in this marshy area even though i get worried about like lakes like this in the south because the alligators but it says please enjoy watching the turtles and they're actually turtles there's fish in there too i'm not gonna feed you the sea bald eagles are predators um and actually the sign here it compares bald eagles and coyotes because they are top predators um but unlike coyotes bald eagles are not condemned and they have a massive massive um, enclosure but there's some up there oh my gosh let's see if I can get a good angle there's one there was another one I wish I could see its face <laughs> here on this map definitely a great place to come if you're into nature and want to hike and see some things but to get to the unity trail it says to i mean the unity trail to get to the unity garden it says to take the stone cabin trail which is this way squirrel you sneaking up on foes Pretty cool. Oh, aerial adventure tour. That's pretty cool.
So a network of volunteers actually helped grow the things in this garden. And it is a sustainable garden. Um, they try to make efforts to grow things sustainably on the grounds that they have. Use your eyes, not your hand. Oh, notice surroundings, investigate nature, tread lightly. You are a guest here. <laughs> So they have restrooms along this this trail. What is this trail again? The stone. They have restrooms right back here along the stone cabin trail after you pass. Well, it depends on which way you're coming. But then they also have a whole bunch of picnic tables out here with no shade. So I guess if there's overcast, that's cool, but not cool when it's this hot with no shade. are more picnic tables but these have shades so that's nice so they do have six different trails here with different points of interest and different lengths um, but most of them are pretty short none of them are over a mile um, so if you want a quick walk um, while coming to explore some of the things here in nature that is great um, let's see you can also volunteer here it says that schools and organizations and corporate groups also help with volunteering. So it's something I'll have to check out. Um, let me talk about these, get over here in the shade. <laughs> uh, let me talk about these six trails they have. So I just went on the Stone Cabin Trail, which, on, which is only 0.23 miles. Um, and this trail allows you to see the Beaver Pond. Um, I didn't know that was Beaver Pond, but that is Beaver Pond, as well as access to the Unity Garden. Um, you can enter the garden. I don't, it didn't look like I could go in. It looked like it was closed off. I don't know. I um, have to look that up. There's also Homestead Trail, which is 0.28 miles, and it has remnants of an old home dating back to the 1940s. They have the Beaver Pond Trail, which is only 0.6 miles. Um, you can spot turtles um, on fallen logs in the pond. There's the Forest Trail that is 0.31 miles which reaches the highest point in the Chattahoochee Nature Center. There is the Kingfisher Pond Trail, which is 0.26 miles. Um, this is where we actually went on that a little bit because you can see the bald eagle aviary from there. And then lastly, um, lastly, you have the River Boardwalk Trail, which is 0.5 miles. This is the longest trail and you can cross the bridge and enjoy amazing views of the Chattahoochee River. Um, and it's peaceful, you overlook the wetlands and everything. Where is that trail? That sounds nice. Don't let me get up there and it's not a good view. Let me find where that trail is. <laughs> so, I'm hoping this is the River Boardwalk Trail. It does not have signage, but it is a boardwalk. Um, so in order to find it, I actually went back to the Discovery Center because it definitely looks like it's on the other side of the Discovery Center. Then I asked someone inside and they were like, hey, you have to go downstairs in the Discovery Center. I didn't know there was a, a lower level. And once you exit there, you'll see the pavilion. And then um, turn to the right of the pavilion, you'll see the boardwalk trail. And I see the street underneath, which per the map, um, we do cross the street, but on this boardwalk. So, let's see, let's see. when you buy your entry um, into the Chattahoochee Nature Center or the CNC, um, they give you a map. And on the map, they have um, an access code um, on there. Access code changes daily, I believe, um, or at least changes frequently because they hand wrote the, the 
the number on the map but um you have to use that to get through certain gates um, because clearly right there like people could access the park from the street um but not without the code so we have the code and we were able to go through the gate to continue on the river boardwalk trail <laughs> nature center is coming to an end it was really nice coming out seeing the butterfly exhibit um, the aviary the beavers just taking a hike and being out here in nature was nice okay so let me hop in the car before it starts raining or storming or whatever's gonna happen if anything um, but if you enjoyed this video, the Chattahoochee Nature Center, please make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so. and helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks so people can know something to do in nature in the greater Atlanta area. And if you would love to support my small business even further, please make sure you check out my merchandise shop or leave me a tip by hitting the thanks button down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.